Sedona North Healing Arts. Today I'm here to talk to you about the benefits of reading nutrition labels. So in Canada, we have nutrition labels on most food products in the grocery store. Food products such as prepackaged cereal, crackers, rice, canned items, you won't find nutrition labels on fresh produce. Um, and some bakery items that are baked right in the store don't necessarily have to have a nutrition label on them. So why are we looking at nutrition labels is the big question. In conjunction with the new Canada's Food Guide, which I have a copy here, we use nutrition labels to help us make healthy and informed choices. So there's two different places that you can primarily look for nutrition information. The first one is the nutrition facts, and the second one is the ingredients list. So here in front, I have two different products. One has the old nutrition labels, and the, the other one has the new nutrition facts label. So in 2016, the food industry was given five years to change the nutrition labels. So here is the, uh, the new nutrition label, and there's some key features that I would like to go over with you. So the first one is serving size is a little bit bigger, and it's also um, in realistic terms as to what the amount that Canadians typically eat in one serving. So you'll see here that making the information on serving size and calories is easier to find. We have increased font size, and we also have bold letters. So when you're comparing nutrition labels, you wanna make sure that you're always comparing similar serving sizes. So for example, I have two boxes of breakfast cereal here. One on Nutrition Facts says 31 grams or three quarters of a cup, and the other one here says one cup or 58 grams. So when I'm comparing nutrition uh, labels, I wanna make sure that my, my serving size is similar. So this product has double the weight of this product. So when I'm comparing, I wanna make sure I'm looking at the nutrients and then I'll be doubling all the nutrients in the one product so it weighs the same. The other key features that I wanna point out in the new nutrition facts label is I wanna look at percentage daily value. So you'll notice that along the column here, you'll see percentage DB. 5% or below means a little of that nutrient and 15% or more means a lot of that nutrient. Now, which products do we want to have more of? The primary ones we want more of are fiber as well as vitamins and minerals. The ones we want to have lower amounts of, the 5% or below, would be things like sugar and salt. So in the old labels, we didn't have a percentage daily value for sugar, and now in the new labels, we have that. The other key feature that I wanna point out with the added sugars is that in the ingredients list, sugars will be lumped together. So things like honey, white sugar, brown sugar, molasses, they'll all be lumped together under sugars. When you're reading the ingredients list, if, if sugars are one of the first three ingredients, you know that product's gonna be a little bit higher in sugar. Same thing with salt. We wanna be consuming lower sodium products or lower salt products. So if you notice salt as being one of the first three ingredients, then you know that that is gonna be a higher sodium product. You can also look on the nutrition facts label for the word sodium. And for, for this, in this particular product here, I have a percentage daily value of sodium of 1%. Now that would be low in that nutrient, so that would be a low sodium product. I wanna make sure that I'm choosing the lower sodium products most of the time. This will particularly be important when you're looking at canned products. You wanna choose the ones that say no salt added on those products. The other key feature that I want to point out with the new nutrition facts is they've changed the um, vitamin and minerals that are listed. So you'll notice on this one that we have vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron listed. And on the new nutrition labels, we now have potassium, calcium, and iron listed. 
And that is because we typically get enough of vitamin A and vitamin C in our diet, but we're typically not getting enough of potassium, calcium, and iron. And potassium in particular has been known to help reduce blood pressure. So Health Canada has made the decision to uh, change the vitamins and minerals that they've listed on the nutrition labels. For more information on nutrition information as well as uh, free services that you have in your community, you could go to uh, Save on Foods and we offer nutrition tours for any types of groups. Uh, um, and really Save on Foods in any community will have a registered dietitian that can offer those nutrition services for you. You can also go to the Health Canada website on nutrition labeling on nutrition labeling and Dietitians of Canada is also a wonderful source for credible nutrition information. Thanks and have